The unveiling and blessing of newly carved totem poles at the Tlahaman Nation Governance House was a celebration of a new beginning, ushered in by beautiful sunlit skies and a large appreciative crowd. It's amazing to see these uh, pieces completed. One of the main reasons that uh, we had this vision was to, um, was to make a statement as we entered into self-government. The statement is, is that the Indian Act does not define or make us the almond people. The Indian Act made us Indians. It is such a beautiful day and uh, proud, proud to, be, uh, to be here and be in the position that I'm in. And uh, just so grateful for all the work that happened with, uh, with all of the, uh, the former chiefs and councils that uh, kicked off this process. Chiefs and councils, board of directors, and all of the Laman people that, um, that were a part of pulling this together. So I think a uh, bright future ahead. So really looking forward to the, uh, to, to the developments that we'll have in the future. This is uh, an incredibly important day. It's truly an honor to be able to be here celebrating the treaty for Tlaman Nation. This really will build a future for the Tlaman people, but it will also lay a path. It also carves a way for us to be able to look for other nations, how they will be able to build their future and what it will mean. So it's a, it's a very, very important day for all of us here in British Columbia. This is now our fourth modern treaty in British Columbia, and it also carve a day, I think, for all, all across Canada as we enter into these new relationships. For us, it's business as usual, and um, we have built within our bylaws and, and city laws uh, an agreement, an accord, and uh, how we work together on certain issues. Besides that, we, uh, we're friends, neighbours and partners, so for us, it's just we'll cheer them along and, uh, and help where we can. I, I know it won't be all uh, a bed of roses for Klahaman, but definitely their own, their own future and their own destiny and, and out of that uh, from being under the Indian Act. That's pretty cool. It couldn't be a better day. <laughs> uh, lots of good people, uh, lots of well-wishing people, lots of congratulations. Uh, it just couldn't be any better. We love Plahaman. Congratulations, big guy. <laughs> See, like I, like I said, it's, it's lots of congratulations today. Thank you. It's, uh, it's a 20-plus it's a year, or 20 years-plus story. It's a long, long, long story. It's been about rebuilding our community, re rebuilding our nation. It's been about securing resources, securing land. It's been securing finances. It's been about establishing lawmaking authorities. All of the tools that we need to build for the next generations to come. And today's an amazing beginning to that. Like we've got an amazing set of figures erected. It's life coming up out of the ground. It's genuine, one of a kind pieces of work done by the hands of our very own people out of logs from our very own territories. It can't get any better than that. It can't get any more original. Reporting for Shaw TV from Powell River, I'm John McKenzie.